Yeah, I'm back. I know. Usually, I only I, we're lucky if I get my Tuesday and Saturday together. But I wanted to talk about one of my actual favorite cosmetic companies that just went kafloof. And I think part of the reason that it went kafloof is because even though this is one of my favorites, nobody really talks about it. It's kind of like they, they disappeared over time. And I know people talk about it at one point because that's how I found them. But it's Coastal Sense. Now we know Becca is going there. Why? For sure. We don't know. I mean, we can speculate on it. But they came out and announced that as of September, they would be gone. Coastal Sense, the way I knew they were gone, and part of this is my own fault because about half the time if I see a cosmetic company come up, in my email, I just like go, no, oh, it's probably another sale. So I just delete it and go on. Angie from 4 Beauty on Instagram messaged me and said, have you seen this? And she showed me the Coastal Sense is shut. There was no will be shutting. It was gone. Just shut down. And there was a message that was part of the announcement that said, if you have any outstanding orders, they'll be refunded. And I'm, Dang, not even a going out of business sale, just gone. And I'm going, but, 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 because the most recent thing I got from it, and this is all singles, I picked these up because I was looking for some stuff that, oh yeah, I'm watching on my, my screen. Well, the colors and everything shift on my, my picture. Great. Love that, don't you? Um, this is a Coastal Scents that co palette that comes in empty, and I picked up the individuals on sale. I was looking for things that would kind of go along with the colors that I was intrigued by in the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox. I didn't want to pay 36 bucks for a huge, huge palette. I mean, I don't, I'm not fond of really big palettes. So I picked a 12 pan, fill it yourself. And I picked out some of the colors that I was, you know, that were close to what I was actually intrigued by in the color pop and they happen to be on sale so i got most of them for 99 cents because it was on a hot sale so i'm like yes and had a blast and they had some of their lip products on sale and i got myself this absolutely adorable shade that's kind of a orangey pinky <laughs> kind of a coral it's just called number 14. But, oh, it feels good. It does. It feels good. It lasts well. And I'm going, no, no, no. I just found the lipsticks. And, and I've been collecting the singles for a while. And, and I've got some of the Hot Pot single. They call them Hot Pots. I've got some of these singles in other magnetic cases. This one I put it together because of, of wanting to do the Stone Cold Box routine. But, but they were just gone. And I started thinking, what about some of the other small makeup brands that I've become fond of? That a lot of people don't talk about a lot. Um, You'll get some if they do, if they hit up like some of the drugstore stuff. And I'm starting to go, okay, which ones have I noticed really aren't doing 
doing a lot of stuff. You know, there haven't been much in the way of new items coming out or anything like that. And one of the ones I am now a little concerned about is Koki. And Koki is another one that I'll, I absolutely love their peach and cream. It's a gorgeous palette. And it's a really nicely made palette. It's in a metallic box. And it's got a beautiful mirror. And it's got some gorgeous shades. I mean, it's very well coordinated. And they've got some other stuff that I really like. The thing that worries me about them is I haven't seen any real change in the product lineup. Just before we went into the shutdowns and stuff, we had uh, two palettes come out on the Arabian Nights theme from Koki. And um, other than they've, they've got three palettes that are all in the little metallic boxes. And then they've got the Arabian Nights theme palettes. And when it comes to seeing stuff at the drugstore, I haven't seen anything new come out since the Arabian Nights. And that's still the only thing in their display. Their display has not changed. The size of the display has not the number of products offered has not changed. The, uh, the thing is though, they're, they've got a really nice looking base blending brush, but it looks very, very similar to the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending the price. I haven't taken the jump and bought one of the brushes to compare. I love my ultimate brush. I really do. It's a wonderful brush. But the e.l.f. brush, six bucks. The Koki brush, that looks very similar, is 12. That's not a good start. And I'm going, um, guys, A, you're not bringing anything new out, and B, the price point is not necessarily in a good spot. Have you considered doing something a little different? But I like their stuff. They've got a bronzer that is absolutely delightfully the right shade for the uncooked chicken here. And they've got a few shades that, you know, you've got some room to go darker. They're they're <coughs> the things that I see on their display don't look to me like they've got a terribly inclusive shade range. However, in some ways, it's a bit better than where Elf started out. Elf is starting to reach 
towards other people. But I don't see a lot of reach in the cookie. So I'm actually getting a little worried that Koki may be online. And I would hate to see another one go. But you get what you get. And I'm looking at some of the others that I keep seeing pop up at the drugstore recently. Um, there was one that was called Jesse's Girl that was at my drugstore for like three months and then disappeared. Um, now granted, I'm in a little tiny town and all I've really got is a Rite Aid and that's about it because our Buy Mart has a little bit of a cosmetic section but it's mostly Revlon, CoverGirl, Maybelline and a little wet and wild. The drugstore is Physician's Formula, Almay, Wet n Wild, Elf, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Revlon, CoverGirl. And then there's another one that just came in that I cannot for the life of me think of the name of it. But they are they're a little on the pricey side of our little drugstore. Koki has their individual display. Um, it's a little bit farther away from the regular makeup area. And then there's a little bit of um, Remmel floating around. It was a bigger section. Okay. It's a store. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, I'm getting a little worried about Wet n Wild is kind of not yet really recovered from the controversy about their um, anti-cruelty status. So they don't they don't seem to be doing as well, at least not locally. I have to go to the Walmart, which is 45 miles away find a bigger makeup section. It's like I know I know Flower Beauty was doing real well at the Walmart for a while and then it started disappearing. And I'm going, all right, who's next? Who's gonna fall out next? And you know I, I've used Walmart. I like some of their stuff has been a little disappointing. Some of their, there was one of the uh, eye palettes that I picked up. Really chalky. It was just kind of nasty all the way around. So it's like, <laughs> but you don't want to see choice options disappear. You really don't. When the choice options disappear, it, it gets boring. It gets really boring, really quick. And choice options for somebody in my normal price bracket are always kind of sketchy, iffy, as to whether or not you're going to be able to find them. The, uh, the, the other one that they just got in is Doll's Doll Face or something like that. And it's a bit pricey, in my opinion, for um, 
drugstore. It's it's especially a new label or new to the locale label because it's L'Oreal or higher, you know. And usually L'Oreal is the premium at my drugstore, so. It just, but the doll, whatever, I haven't seen anything really new hitting that either. I mean, they have one of the end cap, you know, kind of here's the new stuff end cap. And their stuff is sold out. You know, there's a lot of empty pegs. And you gotta wonder whether or not they're gonna make it. I'm still just really bummed about Coastal Sense disappearing. It's like, I really like Coastal Sense. And they just went poof. Poofed right away. I'm going, what the heck, guys? You know, usually if a company goes out that quick, it's because somebody or something pulled the black and yellow handle. That's the eject handle, and for any of you who don't know. Uh, that's the one they usually have on the projection seat in an airplane. Um, you know, it just, it's really surprising when a company just goes poof like that. I mean, a little company a little store in a little town just shut the door one day. People will go, aw shucks. But, you know, but stuff happens. But having a company with a web presence and was literally just recently doing Well, or at least appeared to be just doing just fine. And all of a sudden, the door shut. That's disturbing. They just went away, disappeared. And I'm like going, wait a minute, what's going on? I'm starting to look at some of the other companies and go, are they staying? Are they going to make it? Are we going to lose all these more price tag companies like this with no warning? And it's like, I like their stuff. I mean, it works. It looks good. It works. It's good stuff. No, it's not, you know, high-end formula. But it works just fine. And you can find plenty of variety in like coastal sense but you could and now it's just poof which I find really disturbing I don't like it when things I like go poof I have to start looking all over again for 
things and a similar price point that work as well. Because let's be real, not everything at a lower price point works like a charm. Some of it's kind of iffy. inside the corner there. Pick up this purple again. Now the purple, it's a very blue. And the gold that I've got on the inner corner of the eye is a brownie pale gold. instead of being yellow so much. It's more of a brown. So it's keeping that kind of cool tone Stone Cold Fox is running with. Even the pink is more towards the white spectrum than into the reds. Trying to keep that subtle stuff. So, yeah, I'd love to still be able to use the the same materials that I've come to trust. And I'm still, I'm still going to use my Coastal Scents stuff because I'm already on it. But at this point, it won't matter if I mention it or not because they disappeared. Which is a real bummer. So if you know some small companies that you really like. If you're on a platform like this, talk about them. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it will help. Can a very few of us resurrect some companies? Not so much. But we should at least remember to talk about it. Even if they're little tiny ones, even if it's companies that people are only using because, hey, you know, money. So if I get anything new from Koki, I will be talking about a lot more. If I get which I don't know if I will or not, because like I said, the new company that the drugstore has is kind of pricey. But if I get anything from them, since they seem to be a bit smaller, I'll talk about it. Elf has really expanded and is doing a lot of stuff. Plus, they've gotten to the point where they're pretty well known now in comparison. And they're doing new stuff and they're doing collaborations and that kind of thing. I'm not as worried that they're just gonna go huge. But whenever I'm using their stuff, I'm gonna talk about it. Because they're still, when, it, when you look at the demographics and such, and you look at the larger companies, they're still kind of small, and I don't want them to go oof. I don't want them to disappear in the night. So yeah, I'm going to discuss them if I'm using them. No, they, are, they do not sponsor me. 
pay for all my own stuff. They don't know me from Adam's house cat. So. But I love their stuff. And I use their stuff. I love coastal sets. And I kind of feel bad that I didn't talk about them more often. Considering I use their stuff. <sighs> like I said, I'm feeling kind of bummed about it. I don't think... I don't think that in general, necessarily, that one or two people not, you know, covering their stuff was really what did it. Because I don't know how many people actually used it. I, mean, I know Angie before I viewed it did because she got one of the um, customer emails that said we were shut. And I got one, but didn't look at it because it was a sale there. I went back and checked my trash can and my email and found it. And felt really bad. I felt even worse because I, you know, just dumped it without looking. It's like, that's rude. really rude, Danny. You should at least look in case it's something important. You know, like one of your favorite companies is going belly up. You know, it's like, well, yeah, maybe I should have paid a little more attention. Like I said, I don't think just one person is going to be enough to rescue a company. But if everybody keeps using the excuse that I'm just one person, we can go right back to the voting issue with that one. And then I can remind you how close we came to winning or losing things by a small margin in certain races when it came to the vote. And it's like, guys, let's get this through your head. When you're in a tight race for an office, if you don't show up, the person you want to win may not. You have to go out and put your finger on the button or like we have in Oregon that's been working for years. Take your pen, sit down at your dining room, fill out your ballot and drop it either in the drop box at the courthouse or stick it in the mail, let the mail carrier take it. Since the courthouse for me is only a couple, three blocks over, we usually drop it at the courthouse. But now yeah, Oregon's been doing for 10 years now, something like that. And it's like, go for it.
Thomas Adorns. A lot. Okay, so far so good this time. I had gotten this cream eyeliner from Elf. And again, kind of like what I was saying about the Revolution Eye Base, the tube was so loaded that when I opened it, it just... And I'm going, stop! Because <laughs> I don't want to waste it, and it's just flying out of the tube. This time when I opened it, it's not like spewing like it was the first time. Well, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Give it a little squeeze so it doesn't do it. Fly out of the tube. But if you've got makeup companies that you love their products, if you've got a channel, talk about it. Especially the smaller ones, because they're the ones that are more likely to get hit. They're the more vulnerable ones, where even a few sales can make a difference in what their survival rate looks like. It can make a big difference for small companies to even get somebody talking about them. It's kind of like I talk about a studio pretty much whenever I use that too. And AOA Studio or Shop Miss A, they get a lot of play from people all on their own because, well, let's be real, when everything's a dollar. Or they've got things like the, they've got several different charity lines that they work with, like Paw Paw, which works to get food and funding to animal shelters, and A Plus, which sends money to education, and their green projects where they've got things like reusable shopping bags and stuff and that goes to funding cleanups yeah everything's a dollar but not everybody in the world knows they're there there is in texas which is their home state they actually have brick and mortar stores. The rest of us all in the line. Now, they've got some excellent products, but you don't hear about them on a lot of channels. They're still kind of a small place. because And, and part of that is because you don't hear about A 
love playing with makeup. He so far so good. And I like talking about yeah, they're expensive. They're, hey, there's clean color. They're a tiny little company that's in the definite budget section of the structure. That I use quite a bit. I really like some of their mascaras. I like some of their eyeshadows. I'm not as fond of their eyeshadows as I am of mascaras. But one of the parts of clean color that I absolutely love that I pick up either from the clean color website or occasionally off of Shop Miss A because Shop Miss A carries some of their products is they've got a line of lipsticks called Femme that I absolutely adore because of they, they have unusual colors and some very, very rich gold tones and rich jewel tones, which I love. They've got one that's <clears throat> called Cranberry that's one of my favorites for wearing for Christmas. It's gorgeous. They've got some exotic oil based mascaras. You know, like avocado oil, that kind of thing. And the mascaras are lovely. I think they're delightful. They've also got some of their mascaras with multiple different brush shapes for different applications. which I found absolutely wonderful. There's the company Amore Us. And they have, they have a palette that I got specifically just to kind of tease Angie for a beauty because at the end of her video, part of her sign-off is telling people that they will stay house. And Amore Us has a small palette. Pans are not very big. I think, if I remember correctly, it's about 15 shades. I haven't dug it out for this video just because. But it's called Stay Fabulous. So I had to have it, of course. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pinks. Lots of pinks. Love that. And it was a good excuse to buy it. The palette was five bucks. The shadows are gorgeous. They work really well. Five bucks. I can pick up some multi-pan larger palettes, which are, but they're not quite huge, that I picked up 
from AOA Studio, which are gorgeous, and they work beautiful. I pick up their their singles. They're gorgeous. They work beautiful, and their singles. They're like, dude. There's some product in there. They're not tiny. These companies, these smaller companies, are the ones the most at risk. If you like them, if you use them, talk about it. Anyway, I think I've done enough damage. Tell me what you think. No, really, I dare you. I've got a little tinted moisturizer over my sunscreen that I put the other cream products I used my AOA Studio white and this is just a white concealer I used that as my eye base this time because I felt like it it's a little creamier than the elf eye putty and sometimes I switch them up Now, yes, it is still wear orange for gun violence awareness. That'll be going through the whole weekend. We have a whole month worth of pride. Don't forget any of them. Keep your distance. I know the CDC has put out new guidelines for masking. If the business you are visiting wants you in a mask, put it on. Don't argue. It's their choice. They have the right to decide. I was in the Rite Aid the other day. A woman asked me why I had my mask on after they had said we didn't. I said, because this is a drugstore, sick people come in here. They've already said at the front door that they are still masking. All of the employees are wearing masks, and I don't trust people to not mess up my already sketchy lungs. And she got all upset because I was looking at her funny because she wasn't wearing a mask. So we got that and off she went. So, yeah. Yes, I put the lipstick on and I put it on thick because I'm not going anywhere else today. I don't need to worry about it living on the inside of my mask. Tell me what you think. Keep your distance. Wash your hands. If you have not yet gotten vaccinated, get on with it. Do it. Go. Get. Mind your manners. Go be kind to somebody today. Just be cross. I dare you. If you have to defend yourself, And you need bail money, I'll try and help. You start your own trouble. No good reason. No bail money.